sound on? Is there sound for it? Okay. Go. Uh, Hit your sound. Dang it. Or whoever's playing. Let's see. The thing about an assembly is it may not get directly to the people that you want, but it can get a wide array of people, array of people interested in your idea. It can express some new ideas to the student body. Uh, it can show our excitement and our connection to the class and just how much we enjoy it. And also it does give a good sense of camaraderie because if we would have a few more students shows that we are willing to come together as a group and explain just why we are this class. And now I'm going to give it off to Patrick. Uh, I did the research on Patrick Belkin. Um, our top five KBUs for Century Doctors. Um, it's a center. Uh, it's very uh, chic, um, modern, and attractive. Uh, we also did the Regents. It's a swag center. It's very recognizable, modern, and neoclassical. And it, that's more of a Why don't you take a couple minutes and uh, finish up those comments, and then we will uh, ask some questions here in a little bit. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to ask you a quick question now. So on your logo, I'm in the back of the room, and, and, and it does jump out at me. Uh, explain, explain what, uh, is that a mouse? Yes. Okay, um, explain that a little bit. The O on the animation is supposed to represent the mouse that we use. It just kind of connects to the computer and the right. What's that? What's the other end of the mouse? What's that plugged into? It's a USB cable. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So, like, I understand the mouse, but why did you choose to include the, the whole cord and the USB cable in your design? Um, well, we believe that it just kind of drew our attention to the center, and it really just added a good uh, location for your eyes to go. It just really brought the focus yeah, around. Brought focus to that you chose like it looks like behind it there's like two or three layers behind the letters why'd you guys do that well that came from a variety of sort of ideas that we saw off of the pants um, we just liked the look that it had and it was kind of like a progressive dancing kind of thing and the way and how they uh, become more prominent how they started off in the back and they kind of <coughs> I like how it kind of like fades in from the back. It's like kind of grayish and then it fades into the more vibrant colors. Uh, I noticed you put in animation and media. What about a 3D part of animation and a digital part of media? Like, why did you choose to cut those out? Um, we chose to cut those out because we didn't believe that they would really what this class represents. There is a 3D aspect to it. Now, on your direct marketing uh, idea, did you guys have a backup plan? Like, if, if the funds or the resources weren't there to, you know, create all the posters and things, how are you going to plan on using that same strategy, uh, but kind of getting the word out in the same manner? Well, the backup plan for it was using, for example, the school website. Um, we thought that it just wouldn't be as uh, um, useful. Right. Any final questions? All right, thanks guys.